The UFC has been invading Australia all week long. On Friday, they finally hit the world-famous Bondi Beach here in Sydney, where fighters like Matt Mitrione, Stefan Bonner, Josh Koscheck, and all the Octagon girls met up with some pro surfers to learn how to surf. Fighters surfing. Let's see how they did. Another afternoon with Matt Mitrione. Matt, you're about to go surfing. Sorry. What's your, uh, your, your talent level like in the, uh, in the world of surfing? What's your experience? Well, I'd say compared to Kelly Slater, I'm probably about a 9 out of 10. Not a lot of scenes like this in Indiana, right? No, actually, this is uh, amazingly similar at home. Amazing. I mean, this is very similar. Actually, like that shark fin out there, probably shouldn't joke about that. I, think yeah, I, have I feel like Stefan Bonner is just itching to get into this and, and, and show you up. It's, it's not too much different than Lake Schaefer in Monticello, Indiana, right there. Lake Schaefer, right? This comes back to Indiana with you two guys. It's, it is an excitement-filled hey, state. It There's more than corn in, in Indiana, Indiana at Indiana Beach. On beautiful Lake Schaefer in Monticello, Indiana. Approximately, what's the, the longest amount of time that you can actually stay up on the board? Oh, I can ride a wave, like, full on, full throttle. What does that mean, full throttle? Like, ride it all the way to the shore. Really? Yeah. Why are you so awkward? That is uh, what makes me me. That's how you charm people? It's my endearing quality. Making them think you're awkward. You think I'm making you think that I'm awkward? And dorky, you just kind of sl <laughs> slid that one in there. Um, or do you think that I am actually, in fact, awkward and dorky? I think that you are in fact awkward and dorky. Some people like that though. Yeah, you're right. Some I can tell you do. <laughs> are you coming on to me right now? I might be, just don't tell your wife. Deal. Or your significant other. <laughs> yes, <laughs> thank you. Things just got awkward right now. <laughs> yes. Officially. Officially. It got weird between us. Yeah, I, I think I gotta go. See ya. Your uh, employees here. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm impressed. What do we have to do to get you to go out there? Uh, I'm not going out there, man. I'm too old for that. Sh yeah. uh, we were out there for like 30 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. It was cool. Yeah. Better. Yeah. I'm still numb. Yeah. Still like this side of my face has been numb the whole, uh, the whole time, and my teeth are still numb. So from the nerve, nerve, nerve damage. Yeah. Yeah. I got like five months, probably. Yeah. So it kind of sucks. This is where we should do all our fights here. Yeah, huh? <laughs> that's why I said the city's absolutely gorgeous. No more Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, great job. I must say, very impressed. Who did better though? Who who stayed up longer? Uh, she got up the most. I don't know who stayed up longest, but she she got up the first one, so she's she's a winner. Dub, were you happy with your performance though? I was happy. It was good. I got very happy. time. Yeah, it was really fun. Um, except for the the big wave that they tried to make me do, I went under, and that was like really scary, very scary actually. I, I almost cried. But. I did not see you up there very did long. You see no, me in the last one. Yeah, I, I was that one. I was sucking balls the whole time, but they're they're all waving me in. I'm like, no, I wouldn't go in. And the last one, uh, I finally got up and rode the wave in, man. And I'm like hooked. That felt great. It was funny, we're all swimming out there and I'm just like figuring out how to even balance on my stomach on the board and I look over and there's Ariane all the way in, like holy shit, man. Who was the worst of the bunch? Probably me. Oh, okay. Final question, what is tougher, you think, being a professional surfer or a professional fighter? Um, this is really hard, the balance and all and that, but you know, shit, I mean, nothing's as exhausting as, you know, fighting someone balls out for 15, 25 minutes, you know, I mean. I'd much rather, hey, if I were an awesome pro surfer, man, I'd much rather do that than have to fight people in a cage, you know I mean? So Matt, how'd you do? Um, I think I, I, I probably won the award for the, the worst wipeout, uh, but I got up, I, I rode a couple. Um, I was motivated by Ariane today. She actually caught the very first wave that we saw and she rode all the way in. And then so from that point on, I wasn't gonna get upstaged by her. So I caught the second and third one in and then kind of uh, traded off on a couple other ones. Good news is though, you were better than Stefan Bonner, and that's all that really matters. You know, really, that's, that's what's called spade to spade here. I'm a heavyweight, and I was the best male surfer. I think that's a big deal. Better than Koscheck? Uh, exponentially better than Koscheck. And my hair looks better, too. And, and let's just, you know, put a bow on this whole, you know, two-day uh, adventure with you. You were coming out here last minute to corner Chris Lytle. All of a sudden, you're doing PR things for the UFC. You're surfing. You're playing rugby. Not a bad gig for a corner man. 
I'm, I'm kind of a commodity, so I, I can't blame the UFC for really liking me a lot. We have seen girls in bikinis, fighters in bathing suits, but now we've seen it all. A journalist, business on top, something, I'll call it casual on the bottom. Gareth A. Davies of the Daily Telegraph, what do you think of this whole experience? Um, look, this is an iconic site in Australia, um, around the world, and oh, hello mate. It's very rare that we're together on the same screen, so why don't you take us home? Say goodbye to the people, sign off for us. It's an absolute pleasure to be interviewed for the first time by growing MMA legend Ariel Helwani. For Gareth A. Davies, like he said, Ariel Helwani in Bondi Beach, MMAfighting.com.